So some of you asked me in my comments, how do you reduce loading times or how do you reduce popping in game or like stuttering? So I'm going to teach you one of the biggest tips I know to improve all that simultaneously. And that's to actually basically clean, clean install your wild WoW data file files. But first, I have to give you an explanation of why that helps. So I'm going to get, bring up the handy dandy paint screen and talk about the file system the game uses. I'll show you the files too, so explain it better. So I'm going to click here on the game, click on reveal and finder, but for you it's going to say reveal on desktop or whatever the Windows version is. And then I'm going to go up a folder and there's a data folder here. Inside this data folder is a bunch of other folders. This is all the data for every installed version of the game, not just retail, but every version of the game I've installed, which is classic, classic era, PTR, the other PTR. You probably, you might not have the PTRs, but if you do, it's compounded. Then here it's like configuration data. Here's the actual data and the indices for the data for a bunch of index files. So let me explain how this works. The game has something, our file system that's called CASC. C A S C CASC. That's the file system the game uses. This file system has some pros, but it has some serious cons too. And the cons are what are causing some issues. So the, what you'll see here in the data structure is you go in here, you'll see more index files, and you see a bunch of archives, data one, going all the way up to data 108. The number of data files you have is going to be based on how many versions of the game you have installed and how long it's been since your last reinstall. I think I did my last reinstall on September 6th based on the file dates on some of these. I'm going to date modified. You can see the last time data was modified was October 3rd. I think there was a mini patch that day. These files were modified in the 9th. These are modified in the 6th. I think I fully reinstalled the game for the launch of the expansion or just shortly after it for the reason I want to show you. And that's order it back by name. When you say when you first install the game, you, you tell you, you ask the server for data files, and the server goes, "Okay, let me send you files." At that point, you have no data files, so it's going to request files. And it's going to like, "Okay, I'm starting to download it. Files are coming." And then, if you have no containers yet, it creates a container. Here's archive one. It creates it, and it's starting to put files in there, and it's filling, it's filling, it's filling, it's filling. It's filling. It's filling. Now, the archives have a max file size of one gigabyte, as you can see here. When a file gets to one gigabyte, it starts file two, file three, etc. It's like, okay, it's full. Create file two. Now it's downloading into this file and fill in this one here, here, here. Now, the way it writes the data on a clean install is like sequential. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to oversimplify this. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to respond. But like, it doesn't work exactly like that. It's going to be an oversimplification here so that uh, it's understandable in more layman's terms. But let's say, for example, the first set of data files is Elwyn Forest. Every file on this file is Elwyn Forest. The data is going into here. And then the next one, let's say it's Duskwood. Again, this is just a stupid simplification. There's a lot, to be a lot more complexity than that, like the way assets are divided and installed. But for the most part, the files are written sequentially and in an ordered manner. So anyways, you've, download, you've downloaded things, you installed many files, a lot of archives. Now you have many data files. And now you're up to like, let's say you just finished installing. Wow, it's fully installed. All these files are full with data. And it's all sequential. Your, day, your game is going to run as most efficiently as possible on a clean install because of this. But here's what happens when you install a patch. Let's say a new patch comes out. And again, I'm just going to use basic examples, but don't go on the comment correct and be like, well, obviously the patch is more complex than that. I'm dumbing it down. Let's say this patch, what's new in this patch is they change the trees in Elwyn Forest. So here's what they do. 
Did they delete the trees from here? Because this is where the Elwyn Forest was. The trees are deleted. But when they download the new files, they don't go to where the old files were. They go here. The new trees are now in this archive. So now when you load into Elwyn Forest, it has to open and load this file and this file. Oh, the clean install, it only had to load this one. Now, let's say you haven't reinstalled your game in four or five years. Since then, they patched buildings, shrubbery, mobs. Now, when you load in the Elwyn Forest, it has to open all of these. You see where the problem is with cask. On a clean install, the files are sequential, but the way cask works is every time it downloads new assets, it will never put them in an, it will always put them at the end of the last archive. Now, it does attempt to rearrange files sometimes. It'll say like cleaning up files, reclaiming space, it's moving shit around. But for the most part, one thing it's never considering is fragmentation of the files in terms of where they're at. Over time, they get disorganized. And you never get all your free space fully back either. It gets more and more fragmented the longer WoW is installed. And this reduces your loading times. It takes longer to load in the game. It takes longer to load into a zone. Load it into an instance. So when you are loaded in, you might see additional pop-in, like before textures or players around you load in. Because again, the data has become more fragmented over time. Now, how does it map this data? That's where this comes in. Every time it downloads a file into a file here, the file is placed here. And then in the indices folder, it writes down where it put that file. So basically what's happening is when you're loading into something, it's checking these files, reading them, because these files tell it where everything is. You're loading into Elwyn Forest. It has to read these files to know which of these to open to load in. And that's how Cask works. So how do you fix it? Do you just go to uninstall and reinstall? No, because that's tedious. That will lose all your settings and everything else. There's actually a more simple way of doing it. And that's to actually, literally, go here, your data folder. Drag it to the trash or recycle bin. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that right now because I, I recently installed within last month, so I'm not that fragmented yet. But you do that, then, well, first I got to make sure thing. Make sure the game is closed and make sure launcher is closed. Delete only the data folder. You know, everything in here, like your retail folder, all your interface, your W2F, you don't need to get rid of it. Just a data folder. Then open launcher and say it's saying play, it might say update. It says update because it detected there's missing files. If, you, if it says update, just click update and you're going to see redownload of all the game files. It's going to take a while. It's literally going to redownload the whole game. When it redownloads it, it's going to reconstruct the indices and the archives to be cleaned up and sequential. When it's done, your install size is going to be smaller, more optimized. And your loading screens are going to be shorter. And your pop-in is going to be reduced. And you might even see less stutter. Now, mind you, I need to emphasize here, your loading screens are still going to be very long if you run a lot of add-ons, because they're slowing your loading screens down more than the data is. So let's put that into perspective here. If you have like all the things, auction add-ons, Raider I.O., the works, and your add-on memory is 700 megabits, megabytes, your loading screens are going to be slow no matter what. This is going to optimize your loading screens if the weakest link is your add-ons. Like, your loading screens are still going to be hindered for whatever the weakest link is. Just like, if you, if, you're not, if you don't have an SSD, this will still help. Actually, considerably will help because that, then the fragmentation affects even more. But your loading screens are still going to be long, but they might be shortened. But, like, let's see, if you're, if you're like me, I have an ultra-fast NVMe drive. The drive I have is literally, like, super giga-fast. 
It's literally soldered memory. It's not even, it's not even an, an M2 drive. It's literally soldered onto this MacBook. And it's faster than most M2s even. It's blazing fast. It's like, play, maybe not PlayStation 5 fast, but pretty close to it. So, it's fast. And even I noticed the difference, because here's the thing. Random read is still slower than sequential read, even than SSD. Especially when it comes to compressed archives. See, these archives, they're not just folders. They're compressed, which means it has to unpack them. So when you're loading into an area, you need to get files for, again, oversimplified. Elwyn Forest, every one of these arrows you see, it has to unpack the archive, reference the ind indices that say where the files are, and then load those files into memory. And on a fresh install, it's doing just this one. An old install, it's doing all of these. Because it's it gets messy over time. So that's why reinstalling the game files can make a huge difference. Even on a fast NVMe drive, because it still reduces the number of files it has to unpack at once when loading into an area. And it's just exponential over time. And I know a lot of you out there haven't reinstalled your game in years. So you might see a huge gain by doing this process. And there's no risk of like loss if you, if you only delete the data folder. Because I'm not asking you to dump your interface, your add-ons folder. I'm not asking you to dump your WTF folder where you lose all your settings. All you're getting rid of is your data. And the launcher will automatically detect this missing. If it doesn't say update, if you still, still see a play button, though, do not hit play. Do not download the files while you play. Instead, just do a scan and repair to be like, hey, there might be some files missing. You should, you should, go, you should, go, you should go check the files, make sure they're okay. You should, it checks the files, and it's going to be like, file not found? Oh, better redownload those. The launcher or repair it. The, like, the only thing this does is make you have to redownload the game. But like, on most modern internet connections, that's not so bad. And if you are on a slower internet connection, you could just do it before bed, wake up, and it's done in the morning. Right, your computer doesn't like shut down during the middle of the download. But after you optimize your files, there'll be a massive improvement in uh, the data structures. You'll probably get some drive space back. You'll definitely see some reduction in your loading screens, and you'll see a reduction in popping. Like after your in-game, when players are slowly popping in, or trees are popping in, everything's like low detail before the high fidelity, eight textures load in. That will all be improved by cleaning up your cask file system and rebuilding it. So that was my tip today here on this channel. I hope you found it helpful and continue watching, subscribing, and liking on this channel to see more videos just like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.